Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this session, I am going to explaining about LCM and HCF uh, continuation of last session uh, problems related to LCM and HCF. Let's see the first problem in this session. Find the LCM of uh, 2 by 5, 3 by 10, 6 by 25. If you observe carefully, these are fractions. These are fractions. I already explained uh, while we are discussing about the concept of LCM and HCF, if you go through previous uh, videos, previous sessions, uh, LCM of fractions, LCM of fractions is equal to, LCM of fractions is equal to, LCM of numerators, LCM of numerators divided by HCF of denominators, HCF of denominators. In this way, we have to calculate the LCM of fractions. Here, the numerator values are LCM of the numerator values 2, 3 and 6. And in the denominator, we have HCF of denominators. What are the denominators mentioned in the problem? 5, 10, 25. See, here 2, 3, 6. All these numbers are small numbers, so you can directly uh, calculate the LCM. There is no need of go with long division method of doing the calculations. LCM of 2, 3, 6, it is very clear that that is uh, 6 divided by HCF of uh, 5, 10, 50, uh, 25. 5, 10 and 25, which is equal to 5. Why? Because uh, I will tell you one shortcut method to solve uh, L, uh, to solve the LCM as well as uh, HCF. Here, for small numbers, it will be applicable easily. To calculate LCM, take the highest number. Take the highest number and its first multiple. First multiple is nothing but 6 only. Check whether 6 is divisible by remaining numbers or not. Here, 6 is divisible by 3 as well as divisible by 2. So, obviously, your LCM is 6 only, right? In case if 6 is not divisible, then you can take second multiple of uh, this highest number. This is the uh, shortcut method to solve the LCM of the numbers uh, for small numbers. Uh, and uh, for HCF, take the lowest number. Take the lowest number and its highest factor. Highest factor is always itself. Highest factor of 5 is always itself. 5. Now check it out whether this 5 is one of the factor of the remaining numbers or not. 5 is a factor of 10 and also 5 is a factor of 25. So obviously HCF of all these three numbers is 5. Therefore your required answer for this question is 6 by 5. Let's move to the next question also same thing LCM of fractions. LCM of fractions is equal to LCM of numerators. LCM of numerators that is 2, 8, 16 and 10. These are the numbers and in the denominator HCF of denominators. HCF of denominators which is equal to 3, 9, 81, 27. These are the denominators. You need to calculate uh, this one. Now you can apply the logic which I explained in the last problem. Take the highest number. Take the highest number. And it's uh, first multiple. 16. As uh, 2 and 8 both uh, are definitely divides with uh, divisible, divisible by this particular number. Divides uh, 16. So no need of checking with 2 and 8. Why? Because 16 is a multiple of 2 and 8. So obviously 16 multiples are definitely divisible by 2 and 8. Now only checked out with 10. Only checked out with 10. If any particular number is uh, divisible by 10, that must be ends with uh, 0. That must be ends with what? 0. Now you can check it out what is the first multiple of 16 which is ending with 0. Here you can multiply this value with 5. 16 5 is 80. 80 is the first, multi first multiple of uh, 16 which is ending with uh, 0. Therefore, uh, 80 is the LCM of these numbers. 
80 is the LCM of 2, 8, 16 and 10. Now in the denominator, take the lowest number. Lowest number is 3. Now, what are the factors of 3? 1, comma 3. Check it out whether 3 is a, take the highest factor. Whether 3 is a factor of each and every number or not. 3 is a factor of 9. 3 is a factor of 81. 3 is a factor of 27. So, HCF of 3, 9, 81, 27, which is equal to 3. Therefore, our required answer is 80 by 3. Let's move to the next question. See here. Find the HCF of fractions. These are the fractions given. What is HCF of fractions? HCF of fractions. As we already know that HCF of fractions is equal to HCF of numerators divided by LCM of denominators. LCM of denominators. HCF of fractions is equal to HCF of numerators divided by LCM of denominators. Now, here it is uh, HCF of numerators. Here the numerators are 4, 10, 20 and denominators. Uh, LCM of denominators 9, 21, 63. I will apply the same logic. I will apply the same logic uh, for HCF, I will take uh, lowest number. Lowest number is 4. First, take the highest factor of 4. 4 is a factor of 20, but 4 is not a factor of uh, 10. So, 4 is not our HCF. First of all, the factors for 4. 2, 1, 2, 4. 4 is not the HCF. Why? Because 4 is not a factor of 10. Now, the second highest factor is 2. 2 is a factor of 10. 2 is also a factor of 20. Therefore, HCF of 2, 10 and uh, 4, 10 and 20 which is equal to 2 divided by for LCM. Take the highest number. Highest number first multiple is always itself 63. 63 is divisible by 9. 63 is also divisible by 21. Therefore, LCM is uh, 63. 2 by 63. That is the required answer for this uh, question. HCF of given fractions, which is equal to 2 by 63. Let's move to the next question. Find the HCF of, here also same thing, HCF of fractions is equal to HCF of numerators. Here the numerator values are 9, 18, 21. And in the denominator, LCM of denominators, you need to write 10, 15, 25. HCF of uh, numerators. Uh, let us take uh, 9. Smallest number is 9. Uh, here for 9, the factors are 1, 3, 9. Uh, take the highest factor 9. 9 is a factor of 18, but 9 is not a factor of uh, 21. So, this is not your HCF. Next, 3. 3 is a factor of 18. 3 is also a factor of 21. Therefore, HCF of numerators 3. In the denominator, take the highest number, 25. And uh, in the numbers, we have uh, 10. So, it must be ending with uh, 0 only. Definitely, LCM must be ending with 0. So, after that, uh, you can take with uh, 50. Next, 100. After that, 50 is divisible by 10, but 50 is not divisible by 15. 100. 100 is divisible by 10, but 100 is not divisible by 15. And next, uh, 150. 150 is divisible by 10 as well as divisible by 15. Therefore, LCM of those numbers is uh, 150. 150 is the LCM of those numbers. Therefore, our required answer is uh, 3 by 150. That is the answer. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.